Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Pace Studios in the Manhattan Center in Manhattan, New York. Today, we have Kate Bollinger all the way up from Charlottesville, Virginia. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Let's launch right into it. What's the, the first song you're going to play? It's called Untitled. Take it away. Expected to know what will Thought getting older would make me strong And I'm tired as it showing I wanna change my temperament and change my mind But it's hard to do when I'm set on something And there's that all oh, you be going I need a sense of urgency that I hope you got So uh, you're still a student at University of Virginia. Yes. Are all five of you? Uh, no. Um, so John, Trainum, and I both go to UVA. Um, and the rest of them are, these two are from Ashland, Virginia. And Jacob is about to go to Berkeley online, actually. He's, he lives in Richmond. So awesome. It's kind so, of a mixed bag. So what's it like kind of balancing a music career with studies in college? Um, I, I've been doing it for so long, so it's, I'm kind of used to balancing the two, I feel like. Um, but sometimes I feel like inspiration comes when I have the most to do in school, which <laughs> kind of sucks, but it's not so bad. I mean, I'm used to it. Yeah, I mean, you've been able to balance, you know, recording, going to the studio with, you know, finishing up some essays and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. And, uh, you know, over time you've started touring more and more, at least this summer you have. Yeah. Um, and you're playing Babies All Right tomorrow night. And yes. And this is your second time in New York. I saw you actually, well, that had been about a month ago. Okay, um, yeah. At Gold Sounds. Yeah. Gotcha. So what's, uh, you know, is this the first kind of big touring you've done the last a uh, couple months? Yeah, really. I think all of us. I think it was all of our first time kind of touring. So what's that cool. experience been like? It's been a lot less sloppy than I thought it would be. We didn't lose as much money as I thought we would. It's been pretty smooth <laughs> <laughs> so far. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. That sounds like you have some great managers then. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I do. 
Awesome. Yeah. So let's launch right into the second song. What do you have coming up next? Cool. It's called No Other Like You, and it's not out yet. So Great. The world premiere. Just a different end, the cards is all You took a ask I was used to wrenching words from tech at my side And on this clarity You took it to last Take it quick, console myself To know the good, I know the good, I know the good That's a new song. Yes. Uh, can we expect to, you know, hear the studio version of that sometime soon? Yeah, I think next month, actually. Awesome. Maybe. Or the next one at the beginning of the next one. <laughs> <laughs> sometime then. Well, that's soon. great news. Yeah. Uh, so I know we talked about it a second before, uh, yeah. but how did you meet all your bandmates? So I knew Jacob, the drummer, um, in high school. Um, and then he started going to VCU in Richmond. I think met them through the jazz program. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and then introduced me to them. And then John and I met at UVA just in school through a mutual friend. 
I mean, I was going to say the backing, uh, you know, instrumentals do sound pretty jazzy. So you guys yeah. do have a jazz background. Yes, very much so they do. Yeah. So was that kind of how you bonded musically at first? I don't have a jazz background, but I've always <laughs> liked, I always knew that I wanted a jazz band kind of behind my songs, even though they're not really jazz songs. Um, but yeah, I guess so. I guess that's how we bonded kind of, because I wanted that sound. That's awesome. So what were those first uh, kind of rehearsals like with the full band? Um, I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I, th yeah, they were fun, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool, good. Um, I think we were all really excited. I think it came together pretty quickly. In my that's opinion, yeah. that's awesome. How how quickly or how long ago did the the actual band come together? Um, in January, I think, or oh, wow. in January. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We had we had a few practices and we did like one or two shows, I think, and then in March we really kind of buckled down and did more starting then. So before that, I mean, you have some uh, you know music from before that that's mm -hmm. online. Were you doing that solo or what was? Yeah, so John was producing all of those songs, but I was writing them um, solo, and then he would add like some keys and stuff, but it was mostly just guitar and vocals. And then he made some beat songs, too. That was a little bit later. That was like the second chapter, I guess. Um, and those are Tess and Do You Go Out Together. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it all sounds great. Um, what, do you, uh, what do you have coming up next? Um, we are going to play a couple things. Sorry, it's written on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> told me when I was wrong I never minded it I needed someone to tell me okay if I mess up a couple things oh if I mess up a lot of things if I fuck up a couple things well what if I fuck up everything Told me to listen there. So I tried listening to the blues. You always took care of all my baggage. It's hard now, it's something I gotta do. If I mess up a couple things, oh, if I mess up a lot of things. If I fuck up a couple things, well, what if I fuck up that listening to Kate Bollinger this whole time in the Pace Studios, broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube right now. Uh, you've got one more song coming up, but before we get there, um, let's talk a little about the EP that came out a couple months ago. Okay. So it's called I Don't Want to Lose. Yeah. Uh, was the whole band together for uh, the recording sessions? Or? Yeah, so all of the recordings are live, and then John and Jacob just kind of went back in and 
produce things, and John mixed everything and made it sound as it is on the record. But yeah, they're live takes. Awesome. So how far do some of the songs go back? Um, I think the oldest one is actually I Don't Want to Lose, and that's probably from maybe two years ago now almost. Oh, wow. um, and then, let's see, I think Talk About It might be the newest one on the EP. Um, I wrote that actually on ukulele and then brought it to the band. That was the only one that I brought to the band that was kind of unfinished. And then Chris wrote the guitar riff, and it kind of just came together from there. Um, they're all just kind of like from different times, I feel like, but so in the last two years. So if I Don't Want to Lose is, is a couple years old, how much did it change from when you first wrote it to the version that we can hear now? Um, I think it's a lot different. John and I had a demo, and it was just guitar and vocals. So um, it was just a lot more like stripped back than it is now, I think. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you can hear that anywhere you can hear music. Yes. Uh, and uh, you've been listening to Kate Bollinger. Uh, what's the last song you have for us? We are going to play Candy. Awesome. It's my favorite one from the EP. Yeah, cool. Excited <laughs> to hear it. Take it away.
you. That was awesome. Thank you. You've been listening to Kate Ballinger live from the Pace Studios in Manhattan. Thank you once again. Yeah, and thank you for so much. Everyone listening in New York, she's playing. Uh, the whole band is playing at uh, Baby's All Right tomorrow night. So you should go check it out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you.